without further ado, um, I want to thank you all for those who are still sticking around. So uh, welcome back and um, let's go into your reading. So the first um, row deals with your love life, okay? And the second row deals with your general reading, more like, you know, other areas outside of love um, as it pertains to uh, you guys for this week. Uh, these are two separate spreads, okay? So first of all, there's definitely uh, somebody that you're dealing with in the work front that you've uh, got your eyes on, okay? I have a very strong um, earth sign. So this is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is somebody that is appearing very strongly in your work sector. So you could be a co-worker to them. You could be... Um, like a, a colleague, uh, they could be a supervisor, they could be just somebody that's in your vicinity in the work environment. There are opportunities for you to collaborate with this person and I feel like there is a very strong magnetism that's uh, pulling you towards this person. This is somebody with the King of Pentacles. They don't have to be male but their energy is, uh, they, they, they dress really well. They take care of themselves. They're well-groomed. They do their hair. They take care of their, um, even, you know, like uh, if, if they have facial hair, they trim it. So it's somebody who epitomizes, you know, um, very attractive, very beautiful, very handsome, takes good care of themselves, um, dresses well, and takes, just takes really good care of the physical image. Um, I feel like internally, this is somebody that cares about their career. They're quite ambitious. Um, they also, um, I want to say, they like to go out. They like to have fun. And, you know, they like to live within their means, but at the same time, they're quite sensible with money, but they like to have a good life. They like the nice things in life, the finer things in life. If this is somebody that you are uh, interested in, I feel almost like they're in another relationship, okay? So this is like the single person, someone who's a bachelor or a bachelorette. When it's in the reverse position, I feel like they're still communicating with somebody. So they're not 100% single per se. So if you're dating this person, there could be, you know, lingering attachments with this person. If you are interested in this person, I feel like there is mutual attraction coming between you and them. This is a card of Leo. They are looking directly at you and they see you as someone who is, uh, who has the potential to be a very good relationship partner to them. But I feel like there's still communication, there's still some lingering attachment that's preventing them from moving forward towards you. The attraction seems to be very, very strong between the two of you. If this is somebody that you're in a relationship with, um, they're very practical. Um, sometimes they can be construed as somebody who is very, like, uh, they're so practical and grounded and just, um, uh, the, the word is, like, they're such a great... Um, uh, they, they, they take good care of the logistics behind the scenes. They might not be super romantic, okay? And so I feel as if, if you're in a relationship with this person already, you have ideas, you want to do things, you want to express your love, you want to be amorous with them, you want to tell them how you feel, but they don't respond super enthusiastically. So it could be because, you know, they're wired a different way. They show love and affection in a different way. And um, it's really forcing you to kind of like calm yourself. It's forcing you to kind of like um, control your emotions even. So I feel like if you're in a relationship with them, there's definitely attraction and, and just, you know, really great chemistry with each other. Um, but the, the ways in which you express emotions, it's very different. Your emotional um, expression is a lot more, I want to say, spontaneous and more flamboyant. Whereas with them, it's more behind the scenes. It's more modest, okay? Um, I'm getting a very strong Virgo vibe, Virgo Taurus, with this uh, King of Pentacles. It's somebody who's very in control of their emotions. Even if they love, they love in a very quiet, dependable way. So there is something very dignified about this person, and it, it's like they're really catching your attention. Um, I feel like they're if you're not dating them or if you're thinking about them, it seems to me like they're a really good relationship partner. They have some, if they're single, they have some emotional baggage. 
um, that they're not 100% done with, so they could have gotten out of a bad relationship very recently, they're very focused on their career, they are definitely attracted to you, and I feel like it's going to take some time to develop. I feel like it's a yes, there's attraction, there's something here that is worth exploring, however, the timing right now, contact, communication, expressing how you feel, they're really telling you, you know, hold back a little bit, wait for the right timing, wait for them to come to you because when they do come and when they make up their mind about making a gesture or an offer towards you, it's going to be a lot more real, okay? Um, for others, if it's somebody that is in your work front, they're dealing with another person for sure. I'm seeing here they're not done with their previous relationship. They could be married. They could be in another relationship. They could be um, dating somebody. So I feel like they're not 100% single. So it's just something to keep in mind about. And, you know, don't let the um, don't let your fantasy run away with you. OK, like, like the timing is just not right now. But there's definitely mutual reception, mutual energy, mutual attraction here in terms of the other areas of your life. Um, I feel like family is really front and center for this month. This is a card about family. This is a card about like family unity. Um, making the time to meet up with family, taking trips even to go see family members. And with this Queen of Cups, this usually indicates to me possibly uh, health issues regarding, you know, family members that you are kind of, um, you're, you're kind of experiencing. And you might even be tempt, uh, called upon to take trips to see family members who are not feeling their best. There might also be friends and family, uh, siblings and things like that, relatives who are experiencing some emotional, um, some emotional issues in their own love life or in their family unit. And they're going to, you know, call you late at night. So be prepared for those phone calls, you know, be prepared to emotionally be that, um, that emotional support for the other person who's not feeling well, okay? So I have your water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And I feel like a very strong sister, uh, female energy, mother, sister, even like a cousin, or somebody who's dealing with some um, topsy-turvy energies in their romantic life, in their family life, and they're going to reach out to you. They could possibly have some conflict with a relationship partner or somebody that they're dealing with, and they're reaching out to you to try to get some guidance from you as to what they should do, get some advice from you as to how to move forward. So I feel like you're going to be that emotional anchor for others for this week. And they're going to reach out and they're going to let you know. I do see some travel indicated here. And um, this is kind of like with the chariot. It's like unexpected travel, news coming in very fast. And then you might have to take a trip to see somebody. In terms of the work front, we have here the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune as well indicates to me a lot of expansion, a lot of projects, a lot of work, a lot of communication as well. Possibly... Um, if you are doing anything related to outreach or related to like, you know, client retention or even um, contract base, you're going to have to come in and make some solid offers to clients. And there's the competition is very fierce. So it, it might be, you know, like they're hiring a contractor. You're one of the contractor. You have to out compete the other contractors in order to land that. And I feel like it is definitely in your favor, but you're going to have to make some type of um, compromise with the client in order to land land the, the gig. You're going to have to find that emotional connection with the client in order to get them to trust you. So it seems like they might have been burned in the past by contractors or other people that they've uh, been, you know, uh, professionally involved with. So they really want somebody that can really cater to them. So I feel like a little bit of a bending over backwards to make the work situation okay in order to land that client, in order to get that person on board. And I feel like you're dealing with a lot of competition here as well. So it's like really step up your A game. But I do feel with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot, it's like chains of events that are kind of set up. You know how sometimes um, you go on a job interview and uh, let's just say you went to, um, uh, I don't know, um, Iowa State University. Let's just say, you know, some something very obscure. 
And then the person on the interviewing panel also went to Iowa State. So already you have that emotional connection. And I feel like it's the same way. There could be something that where there's a lot of competition, but you're going to stand out because of something very serendipitous that makes you stand out to one person on the panel or one person on the committee or one person um, who's making the decisions. And they're really going to root for you mainly because of that very tiny tangential connection that you have with them. So I feel like it's going to go in your favor because there is something very serendipitous, very faded that's happening. That's going to bring you, you know, success even despite the competition. Okay. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, so overall, very, very busy, robust week. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of work here, um, a lot of collaboration um, happening in the um, career front as well, where you're dealing with other people, dealing with colleagues, dealing with a crush or dealing with people that you have romantic feelings for in the work front, as well as moving work ahead, finally getting something that you long awaited for getting an opportunity for you to kind of show yourself off and getting a situation where you're going to be put into the spotlight to kind of allow your skills to shine okay so great week for you guys i hope uh the reading is helpful and thank you again for sticking around and you know um i wish you guys the best for this week okay